Well, it's about 8.05. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started and this will be recorded and I'll put it in the team page. Um, I do want to, I know I've been saying this for a few months that I want to start doing some regular stuff here for you guys. And um, I am in this super awesome uh, training, uh, diamond training right now with some of the top coaches in the business. And for whatever reason, I'm not able to actually share um, the, the, vi the live videos into this group. So what I'm going to be doing is just sharing my screen and playing them. And um, tonight I'm going to play Haley's, the Gangster Web Connection, because I feel like all of us are in a point where we have the passion, we have the drive, we have the desire to help people, but our organization just freaking sucks, uh, me included. So whatever it is, however it is that you're going to track your business, just track it, guys. Figure out a way that you can do it. Uh, just this week, I started using Teamsy. Uh, it's $30 a month, free 30-day trial. However, if you get your business up and your sales up, then it might actually, that $30 will be worth it. So we're gonna, I like it so far, it really forces me to connect with people and keeps me focused in doing so. Or there's the business activity tracker, there's also the gangster rap connection, uh, which is just what Haley Christensen calls it, and I'm gonna play that video for you guys here shortly. Um, so tomorrow and when, Wednesday, tomorrow and Thursday, uh, myself and Liz, and if you are a coach on this team, I want you guys to also participate in it, uh, whether it's just commenting on things or whether it's going live yourself or putting your two cents in. The whole point of this free group at the end of the month is for those of us that have not hit success club yet to hopefully hit success club. So that's what this is. It's all about, it's an information, informative group on how to hit success club. I mean, on what challenge groups are. So we can hit success club, sorry. So I think any of us, um, oh, hi, Rebecca. I see your name there. But I don't see you. Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, I already started. Um, but I can pick up right where I left off because I wasn't sure if anybody was gonna jump on or not. Did any, is anybody else on? Nope. Oh, I got, I was running late. I had to get in the shower. <laughs> I see that. You just got a shower. Yeah. Uh, not Liz was coming. Rashawn can't. She's got a country heat or something going on. So. Okay. Anyways, I was just getting ready to start, or I was talking about the challenge group Q&A, uh, free group. Mm -hmm. Were you able to invite anybody to that one? Um, Danette wants to come cool. and I. I think this girl named Kasaya wants to join because she's been liking almost everything on my Instagram. I think she's on Instagram more than she is on Facebook, though. Mm -hmm. But I'll invite her. Just invite her. She, uh, it's a yeah. group. I mean, you know, what is she going to do? Say no? Right. And, and well, that's what I told them on there. I'm like, what can it hurt you? It's free. Yeah, it's just an informative group. It's no, I just, I just went in my, I just, anybody that I had kind of ever talked to about this, I invited him to it. Yeah. So, uh, you know. Why not? What are they going to do? Say no. Yeah, uh, Danette definitely needs to come because she thinks once she screws up in a group that she should just stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, we would all be, we would all have stopped a long time ago in our journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the case. Uh, yeah, I, day one and I was all about 80-20 and it was uh, TV dinner night at Tr Angel's Trumpet Ale House. And friends like, come on, let's go. It's Tuesday night. We always go. And I'm like, I'm going to have to figure out how to make, make this work in my life because um, I'm not going to not do that ever. But, yeah. you know, so yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, I haven't been good the last three or four days. 
I'm I'm really really struggling with my eating bad. Get it together. I know, I know, and I'm supposed to have an extra purple this week, and I'm having an extra yellow <laughs> or two. I am day seven of um, 21 Day Fixed Nutrition, so I'm allowing myself three cheat yellows a week, which I had two glasses of wine last night, but those were my yellows. The only yellows I had were my, well, I had a bite here and a bite, like I'm not counting the little bites that I have. Right, and that's what I've done before, and I've done really, really well when I just have like a couple little bites of something, mm. but lately I've just not been able to have just a couple bites. Like we went grocery shopping for all that meal prep stuff on Sunday and Garrett's like, we don't have any room in the fridge for this. We got to drink this beer. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I know. And he goes, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Drink up. <laughs> so yeah, it's a mindset thing too. And I think, um, for me, like in this training I talked about in the beginning that I'm doing with, it's like a bunch of the top coaches and Amy Silverman, who I, I like and a lot and I respect her. She's a badass. She's like your health and fitness coach, be a fucking health and fitness coach. Like if you're going to talk the talk, walk the walk. And I just had like this epiphany where like, I'm like, I've been half in half out for a long time because I'm like, I'm a foodie. I like to eat. I like to drink. Fuck it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do it. I'm being real, but I have no results to show. And so what is my business then? Yeah. Not much because why? Because I'm a health and fitness coach. I mean, if I was a food distributor and a beverage distributor, it would be different, <laughs> but I'm not. So anyways, um, so, um, do you, uh, so do you have any questions? So this whole challenge group Q and a came from this group that I'm in and it's something that some of the coaches do to help people hit success. So that's the whole point of it. That's why we're doing it. Never done it before. No freaking idea what we're doing. So I'm going with the flow. And we're just going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to go live sometime tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. And then Liz is going to go live the next day. Now, if you, Rebecca, want to jump in and do a live video, it's a small group. It's great practice. You know what I mean? Just to talk about the challenge group and what it's done for you and your beach yeah. story. I encourage you to do that. Um, or you can write a post, whatever you feel like doing. And it can be tomorrow. It can be the next day. It doesn't matter. Just it's only a two-day event. And I think we have all of like eight people going and half of it's probably the people in our challenge group. Yeah. But you know what? You got to start somewhere. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Um, and then uh, one, uh, I mean, I, I'm going to actually share Haley's ginks. I'm going to share, flip my screen around and share it. Cause I okay. think that's the only way, cause Haley's gangster rap connection talk was so freaking good. And I took notes on it, but I feel like there's some things in there that she said that were just on point that I want you and whoever might watch this, um, to be able to, to go back and look at. Um, but there was, I was talking to a different guy. So Patrick Realman or something is the, every week it's a different somebody who's like in the top elite coach. Um, and he was talking today about in order to make this business run and be successful, you really only need two or three leaders in your group or in, on your team that are going to, that is your tribe that is going to be successful with this. You don't need 500. And where do you think you get those people from? Right. Where? where did like, I get Challenge groups. Where did I get you from, Rebecca? Well, you've known me. Yeah, but now I... Now you got me from a challenge group because you put me in one just to see. Right. I put you in there because you were my tribe. I believed in you and I thought you could do it. Honestly. Right. So, um, so my point is, is you put people that you think are your tribe or that you vibe with in your challenge groups. They fall in love with the products. They get results. So right then and there, they're going to want to be beach body coaches. So then you talk to them about it and then they become coaches. And then that's how it's. So the whole point is this comes back to challenge groups. And if we have good challenge groups, which I think the one that we're in right now is a good group of people. Um, I think so too, but I didn't know about the daily photo challenge. Like I never saw that. So I was like, Oh, top. okay. It's pinned on the top. It has been from the beginning. You didn't see it. Uh, uh, Oh. Well, because I, I see mostly on my phone, oh. so unless it's... Yeah, so on, on our phone, and I just picked this up a few months ago, it, you actually have to hit that view pinned post at the top, mm -hmm. otherwise it doesn't, but um, now you see it, now it's there. And Liz and I are actually following a script, um, too, for each day. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, we're trying it. We're, you know, we have a script, but we're kind of making it our own. Like that whole vision dream board yesterday, I was like, oh, shit, I've been wanting to do one of those for a long time. So now it's my turn to also do the assignment that I'm posting about. Right. But I think it'll be good. Um, 
So you saw that we have another person staying with us for Summit? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, I figured everybody would be fine with it. I mean, she might have to have one of the common sleep rooms. Like, I feel like all of us are going to get the rooms. Um, but it sleeps 10 and there's six of us. And Fran's still not sure if she has the time off work yet. So it might be five. So that would replace Fran either way. Um, did you look at Teamsy? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. It's, um, I like it so far. Keeps me organized. No squirrel brain. Do you have any questions about anything? I'm going to um, flip my screen around and do that. Since I only have 40 minutes, I want to make sure that this training gets put on so that you guys can all, that it, we don't run out of time, basically. Yeah, go for it. Do you have any questions about anything? No, I'm good. All right, cool. Hang on one second. Let me figure out how to do this. Boom. Hi, everyone. Ah. <laughs> Hold on, let me figure this out here. Share screen, why don't we do that first? Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, cool. Now, can you see Haley? Yep. Sweet, here we go. Oh, but you can't hear the sound. Uh-uh. Mute's off. Turn the mute on. Down at the bottom. Oh, right here? Yep. I you guys. Um, Yay! I have nothing like him. I'm like the opposite. But I love him so much. <laughs> and um, I just want to say that I have to warn you, I am super shy. Um, <laughs> probably one of the shyest people you'll ever meet. Um, but... He always taught me to be a yes person. So he always said, be a yes person. You'll, you'll figure it out along the way. So that's what I am when he asked me to be a part of this and then to do one of his trainings. I was like, Burf City, I can't do that. But I just, of course, I said yes. And I'll figure it out no matter how scared I am, no matter how bad I want to die. <laughs> so um, guys, if I can do this, <laughs> Anyone can do it because, like I said, I'm super shy. Like, I, ha I used to have really bad anxiety, not so much anymore. This video is pretty tough on the old heart, but I'm doing it. Um, I knew nothing about Facebook. I actually hated Facebook. I probably only posted, like, once every couple months when I went to a concert. Um, I hated selfies. I deleted people that did selfies. And I hope that you guys know I'm not, like, ignoring your comments i just can't do both i can't read and keep going so i'll do that after um so yeah i deleted people that did selfies i thought they were gross um i just didn't like happy people it just didn't make any sense to me um, i failed all computer classes um <laughs> if i had to do a presentation in school um, i would just tell the teacher to fail me like just fail me i'll just make sure i do all my homework okay just i'm not doing that so this is such a huge deal to me so if i can do it you guys can do it um so before coaching actually while i started coaching i worked 19 hours a day um no no bs sorry i might swear sometimes i'm gonna try so hard not to <laughs> but um 19 hours a day, uh, nine to five doing hair, and five to three o'clock in the morning as a bartender. And I was a bartender for 10 years. Uh, that shit got old. Yeah. Uh, you know, watching your friends going away to college while like you serve them, and then having them graduate college and having you still be their server. Um, just a shitty feeling. And to get through my days, I tried to like be somebody else because, like I said, I'm shy. I have like anxiety. I tried to like, be someone else. So I would I would buy Adderall off of people. Um, I don't know if you know what that is, but you can Google it. But I just don't have ADD or ADHD. I just bought it off of people to help me like be happy and have like energy. Um, and at night, I was always a, a drunk bartender. Like I would never not drink. Um, I needed to do it. To, to smile, <laughs> even though I was known as the bitch bartender. But anyways, um, I was a drunk bartender. So 
guys, it's just like that wasn't living. And over time, all those feelings just like caught up. And I didn't really know I had anxiety until like all those feelings did catch up. I was like, oh my God, like I have to call my husband to say goodnight. I can't go to sleep with him. I can never wake up with him. What is living? At the time I had a um, brand new nephew. I'm like, I can't even see him. Like I just, I didn't have a life. 19 hours, guys. Um, so I ended up getting really bad anxiety, like panic attacks. Um, like it's so bad having a panic attack when you're cutting hair. You know, I, for me, I couldn't feel my hands. I started like not being able to see. You can't do that cutting hair. You can't do that holding glass in your hands. So um, I randomly got this opportunity and I, my sister, she knew Keith and she knew him through a yoga studio. So I just, just thank God. And I like, thank God every single day um, that I met him. And of course, when I first started talking to him, she was like, I know this guy, my sister, I know this guy that seems to be pretty successful with Beachbody because guys, side note, the one thing I finally started doing for myself, I started P90X because I had it. And that was the one thing that made me feel like I had a purpose that like, I, it made me smile. So my sister was like, how's life? And I'm like, I hate it. I wish I could work for Beachbody. Of course, I didn't like Facebook. I didn't know there was coaches. I didn't know I could help people. And she's like, I know some guy. And so that's how I met Keith. And I'm like, whatever. She's like, well, I'm going to get you in touch with them. I said, fine, whatever. <laughs> I got on a call with them. Of course, me, I think everything's a scam. While I'm on the call, though, I was like, sure, yeah. Here's my, here's my card number. Here's this. Yep, sign up, sign up. Um, of course, I didn't think it was real, but, like, I didn't think he was making up stories for me. So I was like, you know, if I could quit one of those jobs, I think that would be really cool. I do like, you know, I do like the workouts. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> so um, I went all in. <laughs> this is, like, so part of my story because I went all in for my first year and a half. I got a diamond quickly because I had, like, a competition. And I love competitions like this um, training. And I was like, mm, I'm winning. Um, I won, and then I stayed. <laughs> Because I was too scared to get uncomfortable. Like, I acted like a, I was a tough broad. I was not tough, and I was so scared. I, I was so scared of what people thought of me all the time, but I had to, but I acted tough. Like, I don't know. I don't care. Like, but I cared so much, so that's why I stayed the same. I was able to quit both of those jobs, though. AKA, I lied. I quit the hairdressing job. That was scary. But, um... You know, I was a full-time beach body coach, but the, the weeks that I didn't make enough money, I would pick up a bar shift. Of course, they would let me pick it up because I worked there for 10 years. So I picked it up every week because I never got uncomfortable. So like I, I'm a full-time coach slash not at all. But I'm like, I can't be all talk forever. I can't be all talk forever. It's so embarrassing. How many of you guys have been to Summit like, I got it. I want to be like a five-star next summit. And you're not. You're the same exact because you're too scared. And that was me. I'm like, I can't be all talk anymore. It's embarrassing. It's like, how many more years am I going to do this? Um, so, and then I moved. I had to move. Uh, I didn't have to move. I wanted to move from Boston, guys, to North Carolina just because I want to be warm pretty soon. I'm following Amy Silverman's footsteps. Amy, I'm coming for you. Um, I'm going to an island, but, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, Haley, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. <laughs> See, this is what happens, I, I saw some hearts and I can't, um, so yes, um, sorry guys, this is me, this is me, 19 hours, <laughs> um, yes, I moved, I moved, <laughs> thank you, um, I moved and uh, my husband supposedly was going to have like this really cool job and you know, I'm a beach body coach so I can make money but that, that job fell through and we uh, had no money and it was just me and I was like oh my god there's no way I can't do this I can either go back to bartending which I'd rather die or actually make this a business um, of course guys I was scared and I applied all the jobs all the bartending jobs got all of them um, I went to my favorite place that I thought was going to be cool, and I, I trained for one day, and I got in my car after the training session, and I started crying. I can't do that anymore. 
I want to I want to go to sleep with my husband, make dinner with him, wake up with him. I want to serve people superfoods and help them with their life, not poison them. I can't do it anymore. So right then and there, I thought of this gangster rap connections, and this is what I want to talk about. I'm sorry if you have kids near you, but I'm going to swear a tiny bit because um, what I have in front of my computer, in, in front of my wherever I work, is hashtag don't be a bitch, hit send. That's it. I was so scared. I was so scared what people thought. But like, I watched actually a training that Amy Silverman said, you're not going to die. Stop. Sorry, my mom called. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, so this is what I do. I'm awkward. Um, I'm not going to sit in an awkward, quiet room and try to message people because I'm going to be like, <laughs> I can't. So this is what I do. I set a timer. And at first I was trying to do like an hour. Um, hour is too long for me, guys. I need like quick. I'm a procrastinator. I need something fast. Um, so now, honestly, the Gangster Rap Connections, the list um, that I'm about to tell you about takes longer than the actual Gangster Rap Connections. So, <laughs> I, okay, I say Gangster Rap because choose any <laughs> choose any music that makes you come out okay um that makes me just you know mm -hmm. really want to talk to people mm -hmm. be a little bit tough mm -hmm. um battle all the objections yeah, and if you have that hashtag mm -hmm. don't be a bitch send in front this of you hair do it it's a business it's a business yeah. Yeah. Like one, one three. you're gonna do it anyway mm -hmm. um so I have the music going. I have a timer going. It's going to be long because it's going to be 40 minutes, so. Hi, Garrett. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. He said, hi, Jen. <laughs> Tell him to come back. There you are. Hey, come back. I don't, I don't have cool people to come on my own team call, so I just fucking, like, steal them from other people and. Oh. <laughs> Look, he works nine to five now. Eight to five. Eight to five. Whatever. Got a new job. Get in here. I did, and I think I told Rebecca to tell you congratulations. Yep, she's, she's, been, she's been, been coach someday. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, she bugging me. Yeah, I gotta help her come up closer. Yep. You know, coffee's for closers. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. It's just it's it's her problems asking for the sale. Right. She doesn't ask. She needs Go. to help herself. What are they? She need you need to read. Go for no. I know I'm. Wor I'm reading the other one that. Um, Ooh, you know what? This is a cool one. I know. That Colleen suggested. Get, over your get out of your own way, but I've kind of stopped because there's these little things that you have to do, and I read at night. Hmm. So go for no. Would baby be a better nighttime reading? Yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe I could read this other one when I'm in bed. This way. The go getter. It's really easy read. Um, I mean, you can literally knock it out and just. Uh, Is that the same author as the Go Giver? Um, it's Peter Kine. I don't know. Actually, a guy at uh, work that I sold a membership to. He uh, next day he came in because he owns his own business. He sells like that. And he's like, Maybe you should just read this. He gave it to me. So. Go Getter. Cool. cool. Yeah, there's so much out there, but yeah, we just mostly all of us as beach body oh, coaches have to get out of our own damn way. Yep. Really all it is. I yeah. keep building friends and that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, let's let me know. I'll be here. Right, no. I, well, like I said, I was the worst dancer ever. I'm going to go watch. Bye. I'm going to go take a shower. Later. I was the worst dancer ever, Jen. Right. You want to dance? No? Okay, fine. Yeah, that's not good. I, I know. Put this back on. Um, it's got 13 minutes left. Okay. And it's getting into the good part, so. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on here. Let me. I have to share the screen. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. I do. So the gangs are up connections. You're going to write a list of 26 names. And I say 26 names because there's 26 lines in a notebook. That's pretty simple, guys. I am so simple. Um, the first couple names are your new friends. <laughs> Your new friends that you requested yesterday because you're doing your job, right? You're requesting. Um, so a couple friends. That's only like usually a short list. Um, so 
don't overthink it. So with this gangster rap connections, um, you're, you can like and love whatever you want to do, but you have to, you must comment and message. It's like, I don't care if they haven't wrote on Facebook in three months, you must comment. If they're on that list, you must comment or message them no matter what, hashtag don't be a bitch, get sent. So um, the first, like I said, the first couple. Rebecca, did you hear that? Yeah, don't be a bitch, hit send. Yeah, names are new friends. Stop overthinking it. Just, they're new friends. They're not gonna be an invite, okay? They're new friends. Oh my God, message them. Oh my God, I love your hair. What did you get done? I need a new hairdresser, I just moved. Oh my God, I love your dog. I'm looking for a new dog. Where'd you get? What kind of dog is it? And if you notice, all those things are questions, so they have to answer me back. Um, and then the, left, the next couple of lines or whatever are thank you messages. Thank you messages from the people that liked your posts yesterday. And I say posts, okay? If you're doing your job like the other, you know, vitals, this will all work out for you. If not, it won't. Um, so you're gonna have your thank you messages. Stop overthinking it. Hey girl, or sorry I keep saying girl, but that's just, you know, mostly who I talk to. Hey girl, thank you so much for the love and support. I don't think you understand how much it means to me. Um, you know, with the F, and I wish it was Friday, <laughs> with a, a pizza emoji or happy Friday pizza emoji. Guys, side note, use emojis. Stop using fake hearts and fake smiling faces. That to me is like, you're working on me. So be yourself with your emojis and have fun with it. Uh, I just learned the other day, I was working for my phone forever because I hated the fake heart and fake smiley face. I just learned that you could do it from your computer. Anyways, um, thank yous always turn into natural invites. I'll talk about that in one second. And then the, la the last little group of the 26 names are random people on your friends list. Because if you guys continue to only talk to the people that you see all the time on your friends list or whatever, on your Facebook, um, your business is not going to grow. You need to like, you know how Facebook is, the whole algorithms or whatever. You need to like have more people see your stuff. So go to your Facebook friends list and write the, a bunch of names. Oh my God, I don't even know who that is. I must have requested her a long time ago. Didn't say anything to her. Uh, oh my God, I haven't talked to her in a hundred years. Write her name down. And then send her a message. Oh my God, I, haven't, I just saw your name pop up. I haven't talked to you in like a hundred years. How are you? That's it. Not hard. Um, all right, so that takes no time. That the whole those quick messages take five minutes probably. The longest part take is the list. Um, so now you do not. I mean, unless you have time and you know they're going to sign up like that day, you do not reply back to any of those people. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your other stuff. Friend request stuff for your team or whatever. Um, but do not reply. Because I'll tell you what, um, the next day, use the gangster rap connections to actually connect. Um, that's what I do. I'm going to have a bunch of messages when I wake up in the morning and I'm going to talk to all these people. So the new friends, like I said, are going to only be new friends. Stop thinking, how am I, how am I going to change this into an invite? Let that be a new friend, and if you post like a boss, it will work out. Um, the thank yous, like I said, earlier, always turn into natural invites. Always. Um, I guess I shouldn't say always. And sometimes they're like, you say, thank you so much for your love and support. Oh my God, whatever. And then they're like, you're welcome. And if they say you're welcome like that, they're not your people. You're like, um, sometimes, but a lot of times they're like, oh my God, yeah, you're so motivating. I wish I could um, do what you do. What do you mean you wish you could do what I do? I didn't know anything about this. Let me pop you on this sneak peek really quick. That is so simple. Like you are so my people. Let me just pop you in here, check it out. You no, know, I'll, I'll check back with you in a couple of days, see if it's for you. Oh my God, I wish I could work out, I just don't have time. Are you serious? I don't have a for 20 minutes a day. You have to try this, girl. You're gonna love my challenge group. The girls in there, whatever. That is all just natural. Um, also, uh, the rant, like the, the, the rest of the group, like the randoms, um, they usually turn into natural invites. Since you waited a whole day to write them back, you're going to be like, this is what I do. It's kind of like a mind game. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It took me forever to get back to you. I've been crazy getting my challenge, my challengers ready for our group. I've been making meal plans and shit. Um, so sorry. How are you? 
Oh my God, meal plans for a challenge group? What are you talking about? Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't tell you about it. Let me tell you about it, whatever, you know? And then tell them about it. Tell them how you're so sore and, um, you know, you're so excited or whatever you want to say. Just, <laughs> I always am like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I've been getting my coaches ready for this new training. Um, it's been so, it's so busy, but I know I love it. And they're like, for what training? Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't tell you about it. Girl, you know, I'm probably going to sneak people like Big Steve or something for you. <laughs> um, and then I have an awesome, another type of invite. Invite. Do you know how, like, do you know how, um, like, a lot of my coaches are like, well, I already thanked them one time. And I'm like, okay, well, that's perfect. Because this is my favorite type of invite is when you already thank them. You know, you still write their name down because they liked your stuff and you you want them to like be on your team or um, help them with their health and fitness. Um, guys, don't write down everyone. Only write down the people that you want on your team or you want to help with their health and fitness. Um, so uh, here we go. Losing, losing it here. The, the number two thank you. So this is what you do. And this is when you don't listen to Gangster Rap. You listen to Adele. And you make up a script for this thank you. Um, I made up an awesome one and it wasn't like, Oh my God, I'm trying to like sell this person. I honestly really wanted to help this person. And I was listening to, um, the dog days are over Pandora and Adele was on. So it came from the heart and I was just like, Hey, I see you giving me all the love. Um, I'm not this person, but I have to ask you, are you interested in what I do? I just know how much it changed my life. Like I went from working 19 hours a day to like living my dream life. And I just don't want to keep that trapped in my mouth because you never know like who will take this and run with it and change their whole life and their whole family's life. Let me know if you're interested. You know, I have this sneak peek that you could check out. That is not gross at all. Like, do you know how many times I've sent that to people that continue to like my stuff? They're con and they're like, oh my God, girl. I just got um, fired from my job and I was trying to figure out where I was going in life. Oh my God, I just got laid off. And just, like you literally came out of nowhere and just like saved my life. This happened to two girls, two of my brand new dream coaches. I just signed up because of that. Actually three. Um, so those number two thank yous are everything. I love those. All right. Um, now guys, like I said, this will not work unless you post like a boss. So stop posting to post because you're supposed to post three to five times a day. That's kind of like pointless. I mean, I always say done is better than perfect, but no. Like stop sharing like old photos or whatever, unless you're going to tell a story with it on like how you used to be and how you are now. Stop sharing, you know, other people's stuff. Like I don't, it just doesn't, it's just stop. This is a business now. It's like, I always think of my Facebook like an open sneak peek. Um, sneak peeks don't involve friggin' like, sorry, but um, now um, the whole posting thing, look at my Facebook if you want. Um, just understand this. Being motivational is awesome, um, but being just motivational is not going to get you paid. You need to post and let them know that you can help them. So look at my page. Like, I don't just say, oh my God, like, you can join my sneak page. I always am sharing with the story first. And I always let them know with my heart that I can help them no matter what, health, fitness, or business. I hype up, like I said, those sneak peeks, these trainings, my challenge groups. Um, I'm always letting them know I can help no matter what. And, um, I don't just, you know, you have to post a little bit about yourself first. Otherwise it's just gross. Um, a couple more ways to invite and then I'm done. So you can message your followers on Instagram. Like they're following you for a reason. You know, say, Hey girl, um, uh, I, I saw that you were following me. I'm so, I love when girls follow me because like so many guys do and it's kind of gross. Um, sorry if you're a guy, I'm just, this is just how I talk. Um, so I was like, love it. Are you on your own health and fitness journey as well? 
Hashtag, tell me your life. <laughs> um, your dream people, you know, if they love pizza, I mean, this is just me, love pizza and also, you know, like to work out sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh my god, girl, you are so my people. I need to add you to the sneak peek really quick. You are so perfect. Um, and then if you don't have to add them, you can at least, at least give them the link to add so they can add themselves. Um, and then another thing is when you find somebody that's awesome, that's like posting like a coach, but you know for a fact they're not, you just message them and say, hey, girl, I just like I keep – scrolling i always stop at your stuff i keep thinking that you're one of my coaches are you a coach too question mark they're like no what are you gonna coach them for what oh my god for what let me show you something let me pop you in the sneak peek really quick you're perfect in there i honestly think it's perfect for you check it out I'll, I'll um i'll check back with you in a couple days i love doing that one <laughs> and then um i think that is it Guys, I just want you to remember that you can be whoever you want to be behind the computer. You can be your true self. I never, you know, had a job or even thought a job would ever exist where you can actually just be yourself and people will love you for you. So be, blast whatever makes your attitude come out and have fun with it. Stop like, oh my God, like, you're about to have, you have to message people. Oh my God, I can't. I have to go for a walk and walk my dogs. Oh my God, I gotta go to Marshalls and buy that shirt. Set a timer for 20 minutes and have fun. Don't be a bitch. It's, um, that is it. Thank you guys. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Um, like, should I read these comments, Keith, or reply after? <laughs> There's a lot. I really hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, I love helping people. I actually help a lot of people that aren't on my team. Like yesterday, I had like an hour call with somebody that just wanted my help. All right. All right, guys. Um, I'll reply back. Patrick just called me, my husband, probably to check up on me, see if I'm still alive. <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening I really hope that helped I know that a lot of you already know this information I just wanted to get you guys excited again and have you um stop being weird <laughs> and if you're gonna be weird embrace your weird all right guys <laughs> I'll talk to you later bye guys all right what'd you think of her she's crazy <laughs> I can't believe she's doing this she's got a lot of anxiety man she a lot yes turned four star she's five star qualifying and i wouldn't be surprised if she's 15 star by the end of the year she was at the dream corp leadership retreat and she gave me some really good advice she's like just do it she goes i was exactly where you were a year ago what do you like just do it like she made it seem so damn simple and it really is like if we think about this um it is simple yeah it's, it's, you know, and I think that if we overcomplicate it is when we aren't successful. So I'm just trying to, trying to just keep with the basics, build your tribe, invite Rebecca. We have a challenge group starting April 17th. What are they going to do? Say no. Yeah. And what is, what happens if they do say no? What does that mean? It's just no temporary. I need to know. Um, are you talking to Deidre Chambers at all? Or I mean, Daniel Jorgensen? I may have invited her. Let me look. Have you been talking to her? Um, she's been hinting towards it. I haven't. I just, I just now invited her. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, I think I did. No, let me see. Let me look at my messages. Let me sift through them all. It was either her or Deirdre Orsoletto. Danielle Jurgensen, yeah. I did, but I mean, I'm okay if, if girl, if, if she's work, if she's more your tribe than mine, then you go for it. I have no idea. Like, that's the, like, that one girl, Colleen Sasser, she is so my tribe, but she already belongs to Beachbody, and I don't know if she has a coach yet or not. And you have I mean, I'm sure she does. No, you don't know that. Do you know how many people top successful coaches just buy shit off Amazon or buy shit off of their neighborhood sites and don't have a coach. 
I think she buys it off Beachbody. I'm not sure. But she idea, has a couple of the different things, though. Rebecca, why haven't you asked her if she has a coach? Um, I think I did. I'm looking for it right now. Uh, oh, I, I sent her a thing saying, I'm sure you've already seen, but I have another challenge group starting on Monday. If you're interested, you always see, you always, you already have the Shaco because she had ordered the Shaco and just told me, and I never heard from her. Um, so yeah, follow up with that and find out what if she doesn't, what if she doesn't have a coach? What if you could be her coach? She said she just ordered chocolate shako yesterday. She doesn't mean she has a coach. She's done P90X, Brazil butt lift, Rocky body, T25 in size. Hey, do you have a coach? I'd love to work with you if you don't. It's that simple. Yeah. And if she's your dream coach, you need to go after that. Well, Danette just lost her, or she'll be out of a job at the end of April. And she didn't. I mean, she was going to possibly, she was thinking about doing the discount coach just because she loves the Shakeology. Um, so I told her I messaged her tonight because she posted on the bottom of that challenge thing I put asking uh, or saying that, you know, she knows she screwed up the last one, but she really needs it. And I said, dude, we're human. Oh. I'll contact you tonight. And I messaged her. I haven't heard it back from her yet. Yeah. So, um, I mean, just... It's said in the beginning of the call before anybody was on, we all have the passion, desire, and dedication for this business, but we have to do, we have to put a little bit more grit into it. All of us, we all do. Yeah. And um, I think tracking the business is important. So however you want to track it, um, I'm using Teamsy so far. I like it. Um, I think in the long run, that's probably what I like the most. I like the fact that it's organizational and I'm using a, I'm honestly using a, I'm using the team Z and then I'm doing the gangster rap connection. And the fact that I go back to all of my social media from the previous day. And I either, if they're not beach body coaches or if they're not people I'm already talking to, I send them a hello or a thank you message. Well, like I've invited a couple people or not invited, but I friended a couple people. And then I just found out that, Another one's doing Peach Body, but I did invite her to our next challenge group because she said she'd think about it. So I messaged her privately and said, Hey, how did you get involved with Beach Body? Yeah. Just as a curiosity, and I haven't heard back from her yet. Yeah, and you know what? I can tell you that I send out, let's just say, 20 messages. I might get a response back for two or three. Yeah. I, I, but you know what? You just keep going forward. And here's the thing is you send these messages in the back end, but they see you in social media and then they get to trust you. And if they are ever interested if, in the time is right, that's when they're going to reach out to you. But you can't just be on social media and not have the conversations on the back end. It's got to be both. It's got to be both. You can't have one or the other because all of these people that you friend, Hey, thanks for adding me or go to their page and likes things. Yeah. Well, I've been doing that part. Perfect. I did find a girl who might be my tribe. She's a total Harley Quinn geek, Perfect. and we and she has a Frenchie, and we've been talking quite a bit, um, mostly about the Frenchie and Harley Quinn, but she no. hasn't commented on any of my other posts yet. Well, uh, so are you having conversations on the back end? Yes. So, I mean, something that, I don't know if, if Haley said it or if somebody else said it, but just be like, hey, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you or not, but I like I have online fitness accountability groups. Is that something you'd like more information on? And if not, just be like, she's like, oh, that's not really my thing. Oh, okay, that's cool. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned it to you. Yeah. Because she's cute, whole, too. <laughs> cute. Yeah, she's hot. She's full tattoo, skinny. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. She's our that's team. my tribe. She's our tribe. <laughs> she definitely belongs on our team then. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like Garrett said, like, get just what, why are you afraid of no? I guess because I friended them and I don't want it's, that, that fear of salesiness again. They're going to unfriend you? Maybe. Okay. Whatever. Not your tribe. Next. Right. Don't make it. No. Don't I care it. too much about what people think. Why? I don't know. That's where you need to focus on your personal development. So if they get out of your own damn way is like, that's probably not a good nighttime reading book. Maybe take 10 minutes sometime, maybe when you get home from school or after your workout or, you know what I mean? Before Garrett home gets home, whenever, not nighttime reading so that you can get through that. I think that might be helpful. Right. 
Oh, I'm sending her that exact message right now. Good job, girl. Keep up. Keep it up. All right. Anything else? I've got to get myself ready. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a candlelight yoga tonight. It's my, it's my rest day, but um, I'm sore. I had a massage today, and she hits. Uh, this massage therapist is one of those therapists that's like, it's not like, oh, goo goo gaga, look, you have a nice massage. It's like, oh, look, I found this point that needs to be worked out. I love those. I do too, and it's a love hate. Like, she found these spots in my lower back, and I'm like, you know what? It's like you started off, and I'm like gripping the table, going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm sore as hell. I need to drink like two more of these before I go to yoga. But yeah, it'll, it'll be good. I think, and another thing, did you listen to this week's team call or uh, the national wake up call yet? No. Put it together. I think that's why my brain is not in the right frame, like with my nutrition or anything, is because I have not done any PD in a week. Why? Because I'm enjoying the fact that Garrett's home too much. <laughs> well, but okay, so when can you get your PD in? I can get it in at any time because he likes to play video games, and I could have done it yesterday, but I was meal or Sunday, but I was meal prepping instead because I needed to do that. Day, girl. It's 10 minutes a day. Not I know. Perfect, and not that I get it in every day. I don't. It's one hundred percent true. But um, well, I like reading chapters at a time, not a couple pages. So. Yeah. But for the national wake up calls, I mean, that's stuff you can listen to on the way to work or on the way home or something. I know. I know. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to get that all listened to at the same time. But last week's was really good, and this week's was good. But last week's was like she's a badass. Not so sure. that was what March twentieth. Okay. I, yeah, like that thing for, um, summit, that early bird training or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that immediately and immediately went in and signed it. I don't know if I'm going to have the money for it. Well, I would be more than happy to pay for both you and Roshan if you want to go. That's why I was actually asking like as a gift from me to you. <gasps> so if you. Okay. Can, yes. Yeah. Okay. I will, I'll buy your ticket tomorrow. I think the tickets go on sale tomorrow at like 8 a.m. So um, I'll buy your ticket. Okay. That's, you're not going to, you're not doing the court of force. Is, that's not the same day as the court of force training, is it? I have not signed up for that because I don't have $250 right now. Okay. Well, if it, is, if it is the same day, you will now have a ticket for that. And if, you know what, you do have the money for the court of force training and something comes up, I'm sure I can find some of that ticket for somebody else. Yeah, yeah. So she said she just started working with a personal trainer. He has one of his girls win second in Arnold Amateur a few weeks ago. I'm totally heavily tattooed. I'm too heavily tattooed to compete, but the plan is to get me to walking around at a weight and body like I am six weeks out. I used to have heavy power lifting, so I'm, it's gonna be a big change. This is the girl who you asked if she had a beach body coach? No, this is the heavily tattooed girl that I've been talking to about Harley Quinn and our Frenchies. Got it, so she's, she's doing so cool. So you just support her along that journey and just, I mean, you know, so the performance line might be something, you know what I mean? Hey, have you ever, what do you use for performance line? Like, have you ever used any of the beach body performance line stuff? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She still needs nutrition. So maybe she doesn't need your fitness, um, but she could use your, she could use that. Yeah, for sure. And I do have another girl that's in the um, love yourself challenge group with me that I invited, but she's, the way she works so much that she's not on Facebook enough to really get the full benefit from a group well, that's okay. at this time. Yeah. That's allowed. That happens. Yeah. Uh, don't be a bitch and hit send. And also don't be a bitch and invite. That's, that should be your hashtag. Yeah, yeah right. Hit and just invite. I'm right. Like, I send you that text like every day. Don't be a bitch and hit invite. <laughs> don't, nice. Don't, don't be a bitch and just invite. Right. All right, girl. I'm gonna let you go so I can get this recorded before I forget about it and then go to yoga and hopefully I'm not up all night. Totally on night shift mode. All right. Have fun. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.